What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Untouchable City Prepper. And as some of you guys know, maybe you guys don't know, I do run my own snow removal company. Okay? So, uh, I thought I'd do a, a prepping video on these two snow blowers. Okay, the first snow blower I'm going to get talk to you guys about is the Toro snowmaster 724 the 24 stands for it's 24 inches qxz i don't know what that stands for and i do i do not know what the seven stands for okay this is the third uh snowmaster i bought um so before i get into it i'm gonna just say that I do still have another one in my garage over here um, that I painted all black. Um, it still works up to par. Um, I had this one for about uh, almost since I started my company. So this one is about five to six years old, roughly. Um, it still runs, no problem. Um, I can start up right now, no issues. Um, it's just I wanted a new one. Um, this one has been sitting um, for a while, but I'm gonna show you guys just how reliable this one is. I haven't started up in about maybe a month, maybe two months, because I do frequently start my equipment. As you guys can see, I got a lot of equipment, so I'm always making sure that my stuff is working up to par, but. I can show you guys right now. It's in mid-December. Um, I haven't checked this. I just came straight out the house. I'm about to start it up and see if it starts up. And I'm going to just let you guys know. This is not the new one. This is the older Time Master. So I'm going to just I'm gonna prime it a couple times. Put that back. And look, at that was the first start. Okay, Toro, uh, they make some good stuff along with like Predator Generators. They get my seal of approval. So that goes to show, you know, you guys are buying a pretty quality product. Okay, when you get Toro Time Master. The second one I'm going to talk about is the Craftsman 26 um, inch um snow blower this is a newer one that i just purchased um fairly new new model you can see it got the led lights on it and everything like that got a couple driving modes um you know what i'm saying i do like it has a metal chute rather than the plastic one on this one so this one is a little bit more heavy duty and I'm going to go through the pros and cons of both of these. Um, first, I'm going to talk about the Time Master. The Time Master is about, I think I paid about uh, 1100 About 1100 for this one. Uh, yeah, I bought it at Home Depot for about $1,100. Okay. $1,100 I bought the the Toro Time Master. I paid roughly about, I think I paid for this one, the Craftsman. I think I paid a little bit more than 12 for the Craftsman. And I also bought that one at, no, I bought this one at Lowe's. I bought the Craftsman at Lowe's. Okay, I think I paid about 12, maybe 1300 for this one. I can't remember. Um, okay, so this one is a little bit more, so I'm gonna try to make this video as quick as possible. Two shovels I want to give, I'm gonna give another video about, uh, this, this one right here. I don't know the name on this one right here, but I will say this is a good one. This is the Suncast, uh, 27 inch shovel. I do recommend this shovel. And that shovel right there, I think, was about $50. And this one is the True Temper. I never used this one, but I heard good things about it. This one is a little bit more expensive. Uh, 
it has a big blade on it i don't see how how long it is but you guys can see how long it is it's a big blade uh i heard good things about it so i'm gonna give this one a a good shot it'll be a review coming on that one um but i heard great things about it okay so going back to the time master i'm gonna go through these things fairly quickly okay toro snowmaster okay it is light it's very light easy to maneuver great at first start cold start as you guys just saw very good at light fluffy snow okay uh you can move fairly efficiently i would say uh this one is a, is good for a woman it's light um i give the the toro snowmaster to me is is great the only downside of this snow blower is when it gets to that big heavy wet end of the driveway snow it doesn't always perform super great okay other than that i really would recommend if i just had to have one of these um i'm gonna tell you guys at the end why but i would say that this right here can do just about everything that this can do but i'm gonna get to that one in a minute but this right here the snowmaster awesome investment toro always a brand you can trust uh i will say that sometimes these things do come a loose like i gotta tighten that up <clears throat> this comes a loose that that has to be tightened up sometime uh a couple of these bolts you know just after wear and tear sometimes this part comes off you got to kind of replace that uh so it got little things that you gotta kind of just stay on top of nothing super huge but it can be kind of irritating when you you are running a business and it's cold outside if you're not running a business so that's just a couple things to keep in mind so the maintenance on this one is a little bit higher than this one okay um obviously because this one is a little bit more heavier duty but this one you got to keep an eye on you got to make sure you keep it oiled like you can see i just oiled this one and yeah but overall i think it's a great snow blower okay the craftsman 26 this is more of a heavy dutier one very heavy very very heavy when i'm loading this in and out of my trailers my truck i will say that this is a heavy ass snow blower I used to have a 30 I used to carry around, but I quit carrying my 30. 30 I just gave up the few inches. I, I'm really not losing that much. Um, I think the 26 does just as good a job as the 30. You know, I, I don't feel like I'm losing too much with the three to four inches I'm losing on the 30, getting the 26, 30. You know, so I, I roll with the 26 most of the time uh this one is how many cc's this one is 200 243 cc's the time the, the snow master is 212 cc's so you got a little bit more power with this one but once again this is more heavy duty okay I don't really have a problem with starting this one either. So uh, startability, I would give this one a 10. I would probably give this one probably an 8. Uh, but still, very few problems. I'm going to give it a quick cold start. I haven't started it at all. It's about maybe 40 degrees out here, 30, 40 degrees out here in Michigan right now. I'm going to just give this one a cold start. Okay. See how she does. Okay, so that was two.
as you can see, no problem starting it. I mean, like I said, it, it isn't like negative degrees outside, but as you can see, that took one pull, that took two. You know what I'm saying? Just for argument of stake, okay, this is a brand new one. This is a brand new one. I'm gonna just start this one for you guys, okay? I'm gonna prime it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're gonna see if this one take one as well. Boom! Okay, it turned off. She's still cold, but she did start. Okay. Newer motor. That motor in there already broke in, so it's a newer motor, so it probably need a little bit more time. But you see, she started on the first pull. Okay. So going back to the craftsman, super heavy. But I will say in Michigan, that snow gets packed down in there, and this craftsman just rips through it, man. It rips through it, and I think it's fairly easier to use because of the power steering. Um, this model specifically does not have heated handle grips. I didn't really care for it. Um, I care more about the LED lighting than anything you can. I think you can buy these with heated grips. I didn't really feel like it was necessary. Um, but I will say overall, this is a great snowblower, okay? If you got a bigger property, this is great. You know, you get that heavy pack down wet snow into the driveway snow. This is going to do it for you. And I've spent over $10,000 on snow blowers in my time. And I can say that this is one of the best that I have bought. There are better options, but they cost a lot more money. Okay. Both of these snow blowers are going to be under $1,500. Okay. And you used to could get both of these for under a thousand, but due to inflation and our current administration, I'm not going to go into politics. These snow blowers are a lot more than what I used to pay for. When I first bought this Snowmaster, it was about, I think, $800. Okay, like I said, it's a lot more now. But overall, I think for the your basic property, I think this is going to get you through. This will get you through. But if you got a bigger property where you just got that heavier, wet, packed down snow, you want to go with this. Okay. But overall, I give both of these snow blowers. A solid 10 there are the only two snow blowers that I use right now I used to have a lot more I got a big heavy-duty industrial one that's on my mower but I don't use it that much this I would say I use this one more than this one but I will say when you need this one it's gonna pull you through okay so I hope this video gave you guys some insight I'm going to do a review on this shovel coming up soon and versus this one. And I hope you guys got something out of this video. I hope you guys got some insight on it. Like I said, I typically make about $500 to $1,000 on snow when it does snow. And both of these really much, pretty much get me through. You know, these are my bread and butter. Both of these have not let me down. If you, whatever one of these you purchase, I think you're getting a great investment for your money. Like I said, this one a little bit lighter. This a little bit more heavier. But both of these are great investments. This is Untouchable City Prepper saying I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm out.